Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. It's been a while, okay phone, chill. It's been a while since I have sat down, I'm not actually sitting down, I'm standing, but sat down and filmed a video for you guys and I figured since you know on Mondays are my Magic Monday videos, I would start off by coming back full force with an awesome Disney video because as you are watching this, I am currently in Walt Disney World. As I am filming, there is officially nine days until I leave, so it is Wednesday, September 4th. So in a week and two days, on Friday, September 13th is the day that I leave for Disney. Well, I'm going to the States. We're driving down to Buffalo, staying overnight, flying out early morning on Saturday, September 14th to Walt Disney World. And I figured that since I am down there, maybe if some of you guys are down there, you wanna say hi, or I don't know, you're just interested in knowing what I get up to on my Disney trip. I figured that I would tell you guys what my itinerary is so far for Disney World. Today, I am just gonna be going over, oh, weather updates, important Hurricane Dorian updates, okay. I figured that I would tell you guys what my plans were, so like what days I'm going to be in which park, and the fast passes, and the restaurants that I have booked. Obviously I'm not gonna tell you times, cause that'd be weird, cause as you're watching this, I'm currently in Disney, so I don't want you guys like popping up to my dinner reservation to say hi to me. I figured that I would go over the plans that we currently have for Disney. I'm very excited, this look that I have here, this makeup look, one second, gonna zoom me in for a second. This little makeup look that I have going on, I haven't decided on the lips yet, I think they're a little too bright pink, but this is going to be incorporated in a little look that I'm gonna do at Disney. Spoiler alert, I am Disney bounding as somebody. Have I said this in a previous video? I don't know, but I am Disney bounding and this is part of the look. And these ears are also super cute. I love these. So these ears are from a small Etsy shop called Round Trip. They're called the Totally Tangled Floral Wire Mickey Ears. I love them because they're floral. They have a little sunflower, which is my mom's favorite flower, but I figured that they'd be super cute with some of the outfits that I am wearing down for my trip, there's another pair of ears right there that you will see in my vlogs, obviously. And then in my, I don't know if I'm gonna do specifically a video on my Disney Bound or if I'm gonna do like a lookbook. I think I might do a lookbook and show you like my everyday looks when I'm down in Disney. Um, and it'll be included for a day there. I have all my outfits planned out as well, by the way, for Disney. Like, I'm so overly overplanned. I know every single outfit that I'm wearing during this trip. Anyways, like I said before, I'm gonna be going over the details of the trip, um, the resort that I'm staying in, stuff like that, and yeah. Let's get started on my plans. I can't believe that next Saturday I'm going to be in Disney World. So for this trip, we decided to spice it up a little bit, spice it up. Um, usually we stay in the value resorts. So the first two trips of mine, we stayed in All Star Music, and the last two trips we have stayed in Art of Animation, once in the family suites and once in like the regular rooms, so over in the Little Mermaid buildings, that's where we stayed during our last trip. Which by the way, I did vlog, if you wanna check those out, I will put a little card up in the corner for you, just in case you wanted to see some of my past Disney vlogs. Um, I'll also put in the cards right here, um, my vlogs from my Disneyland trip, which was my California vlogs from last year. But anyways, so yeah, we've stayed in value resorts for all of our trips, and this year, when we were going to go, because we usually try for free dining, first of all, we wanted our trip to be in November, um, but then they didn't offer it for November, they were offering it for September, so we decided to go there, and also they weren't offering it for any of the rooms that we wanted. Well, they were actually, but for the exact same price, they were offering the free dining plan for a different resort in rooms that we'd never stayed in before, and it was a moderate resort rather than a value resort, and we never stayed in anything other than a value. So we decided to go for it. So this year, we are staying in Disney's, is it Caribbean Beach or Caribbean Beach? I don't know, everybody says it differently, everybody gets mad at the other person for saying it wrong. So I say Caribbean Beach, it's probably Caribbean Beach, but we are staying in the 
Caribbean Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, we're staying in the pirate rooms, which I know a lot of people have said it's not their best rooms or whatever, and it's really far from the actual like front of the resort, but that doesn't really bother me. It might bother me when I'm there, but thinking about it now, it doesn't really bother me. I think that the pirate theme is so cute, so I'm really excited to go and see what our rooms are gonna be like and see what a new hotel slash resort is gonna be like. So we arrive on the Saturday, September 14th. I don't know what time we're landing or anything um, because our flights have been like switched around once and then we switched them, like we called American Airlines and switched them, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we are landing, I believe, early afternoon before what the regular check-in time is. So we're probably only going to go to the resort to pick up our magic bands and then head off to Magic Kingdom. So yeah, first day we are headed to Magic Kingdom. We have a fast pass for Haunted Mansion that afternoon. And then for dinner that night, we are going to Tony's Town Square Restaurant, which by the way, is my favorite. See, I think it is my favorite restaurant in general in Disney. I love the theming of it. Spaghetti is like my favorite food, so it just works really well for me. Um, but also, it's the first restaurant that we ever went for our Disney trips, ever. So, I don't know. I just, I have a special love for Tony's in my heart. So that is where we're going our first night. We have a reservation. And then that night, Lauren and I have a fast pass for Space Mountain because we love Space Mountain, first of all, and there's only two of us going on because my mom doesn't do roller coasters and my dad was terrified of Space Mountain when we went to Disneyland. <laughs> so those are all the set in stone plans that we have for the Saturday. So we're going to Magic Kingdom. We have a dental reservation and two fast passes. The next day, Sunday, in the morning, we are headed off to Magic Kingdom for a Be Our Guest breakfast. Uh, last time we went to be our guest for lunch, unfortunately Lauren's family had a family emergency and they were leaving the next day so they actually couldn't make it to that reservation so they never made it to be our guest. So this will be Lauren's first time at be our guest. We are so super excited. Um, I am 1000% having a cronut. I'm already deciding that now and I'm having all the pastries. I don't care. <laughs> We don't have any fast passes for the day at Magic Kingdom because in the evening we are actually headed off to Hollywood Studios where we are going to be at Sci-Fi Dining Theater for dinner, which is one of our favorite restaurants. Like, love Sci-Fi so much. I think the last few years we've only done it as like a lunch, but this time we decided we were gonna do it for dinner. And that night we all have a fast pass. We're gonna see if my mom will brave it up and go on it for Slinky Dog Dash which if you didn't know, this trip is my first time to Toy Story Land. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see Toy Story Land. There's just so many things I'm excited for. Um, I actually made a bucket list of things that I wanted to do, which unfortunately, the bucket list is kind of at a date now because if you know Disney at all, you know that snacks change all the time, um, meet and greet places change. So if you want to watch that video though, I will link it above here and I'll link it down in the description. Every video that I mention here will also be linked in the, in the description, so sorry. <laughs> It'll be linked in the description if you are interested in watching that and you don't want to click up in the cards. So there definitely is a lot of things that I'm looking forward to, like I said, um, Toy Story Land being one of those things. And um, it'll come into play later, but we actually left the day Pandora opened in 2017. The day it opened, we left the resort. So I'm really excited to see Pandora. I'm, I'm not obviously, but I'm not a fan really of Avatar. I saw the movie once, it was okay, it was fine. Not a huge fan of Avatar, but I don't really think anybody that goes to the land is. I think that mostly they're going to it obviously because it's a new part of the park, but also it's beautiful. The pictures that I've seen are amazing. I can't wait to see it. Anyway, so that is our only fast pass for that night. On the Monday, we are having a full force Hollywood Studios day. In the morning, we have a fast pass for a rock and roller coaster. And that is just gonna be me, my dad, and Lauren because again, my mom doesn't do roller coasters. She'll just hang out and wait for us. And then for the first time ever, for the first time in forever. Oh my God! Um, we are going to the Frozen sing-along celebration, which we have a fast pass for, which I know you don't really need a fast pass for, but I really wanted to make sure that I got like a good seat to see it for the first time. And yeah, I'm really excited. I can't believe I didn't think of that first the first time in forever, duh. Um, we also have a fast pass that day for Star Tours. Uh, you know, Star Tours isn't like the busiest ride ever, but you know, Galaxy's Edge did just open. 
literally the other day so it'll be two weeks from the opening date when we go which makes me a little nervous that anything Star Wars is gonna be insanely busy. I have no idea, by the way, if we are gonna be able to get into Galaxy's Edge. I have a feeling it's going to be really busy. And I don't know, I just... I really hope that we can at least just walk around. I'm not really expecting to get onto Smuggler's Run, obviously. Um, and I'm not willing to wait like an hour and a half for it. I'm just not that kind of person. If they were offering fast passes, that'd be a different story because I'd love to go on it this trip, but if I can't, and I have to wait another like two years to go on it. It's whatever. And then we have a dinner reservation at 50's Prime Time Cafe, another restaurant that me and my family absolutely love. I just love the theming in 50's Prime Time Cafe. And I don't know, it just holds a special place in my heart. And the one thing I'm really disappointed by though, is that they got rid of the Boston cream dessert. It was like this Sunday thing and it was so delicious, but it's gone now, so. I do believe that night we are gonna go try Sea Fantasmic. Originally our dinner reservation that night was after 7 p.m. So we were like, crap, we're not gonna be able to see Fantasmic. But we did check a couple weeks later and they did have a reservation time for a couple hours earlier. So we decided to take that to make sure that we could go see Fantasmic. The next day is a full Epcot day. During our trips, we do like to try to make so we can go a full day at each park um, and then the other days we can do some park hopping it doesn't really matter but we do try to make like the first few days of the trip to have full days at the park so Tuesday is our Epcot day we have a fast pass for frozen ever after obviously who doesn't want a fast pass for frozen ever after we are going to the coral reef for lunch which is a restaurant that we have never been to and I am so excited. It's one restaurant that I've always kind of wanted to go to. I've seen pictures of it. It looks amazing in there. And they do have some vegetarian options, which if you didn't know, I am vegetarian. I'm gonna try to be making a how to eat vegetarian and vegan or how I ate vegetarian slash vegan in Disney World because my mom is vegan and my dad is vegan most of the time. Um, Lauren is the only person that eats meat, but most of the time when she's with us, she eats vegetarian. Anyways, but yeah, I decided that I wanted to try to do a video of how I eat in Disney World, show you what I get at each restaurant that I go to, because obviously we go to a sit down restaurant at least once a day, usually, I think there's one day where we don't. But yeah, I saw that they had a pretty cool vegetarian option at Coral Reef, so we're gonna check that out. And then that night we have another dining reservation at the Rose and Crown. I love Rose and Crown. We have gone to the Rose and Crown every single year that we have gone to Disney. So, actually there's a couple of restaurants that we've done that, like Tony's, like Sci-Fi, and like 50's. I think we have done those every single time that we go to Disney World. Wednesday is our full force Animal Kingdom day, which I'm very excited about. Kind of early afternoon, we have a fast pass or flight of passage. We're gonna try to get there early in the morning to try to get on Navi River Journey. I know that flight of passage is usually the longer queue, which is why we got the fast pass for that. We're gonna try to hop on Navi River Journey in the morning. Um, then we have a fast pass for Dinosaur. I know that that also doesn't have the longest lines of all time, but my mom loves Dinosaur. I don't love Dinosaur. It's a really fun ride until the dinosaur comes running at you. I just have this weird fear. <laughs> I don't like the dinosaur on dinosaur. Since it's one of my mom's favorite rides, we decided that we needed the fast pass for it. Another fast pass that we have for that day, because we did book all three of our fast passes for that day, is uh, Expedition Everest, which only Lauren and I will be going on because my dad's afraid of it. <laughs> and again, my mom doesn't do roller coasters. And then in the evening, we have a reservation for Yak and Yeti, which again, a restaurant we've never been to. We're going to a couple this year that we've never been to, which is really exciting. But yeah, Yak and Yeti is one of those things. I know that they have the quick surf side and then the actual sit down restaurant, which is where we are going. We're gonna go down to the sit down. Going to go to the sit down restaurant, wow. On Thursday, we are finally, finally, finally having our full Magic Kingdom day. We've been to Magic Kingdom two half days during this trip, but we want a full day at Magic Kingdom. At first we were going to do Hollywood Studios and then Magic Kingdom, but we decided against that. We are going to go full Magic Kingdom this day. And this is the day I will be doing a little bit of a Disney bound. I'm just saying. <laughs> so our first fast pass is for the morning. Me, my dad, and Lauren will be going on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And right after, well not right after that, pretty soon after that, depending on how our fast pass goes, if we go um, to Big Thunder kind of like at the end of our fast pass, right after that we have a fast pass for Splash Mountain for all four of us. My mom hates Splash Mountain, but I think I might be able to convince her to go on with us. 
maybe. <laughs> we also have a fast pass for the Jungle Cruise, which my mom loves. I can't stand the Jungle Cruise, but my mom and my dad really like it. I don't really know what Lauren's stance of Jungle Cruise is. I think she might like it, but I don't know. I, it's so, it's a lot for me. So that is the only day we actually don't have a dining reservation. And that's simply because we wanted to do two at Epcot in the one day that we're there because we don't go to Epcot any other day. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we got those two restaurants in and we figured that that day we could either use quick serve for lunch or dinner or we can save that quick serve meal and just pay for our meals it's not really that big of a deal for us. So Friday in the morning, we are there at Magic Kingdom. First, we have a fast pass for Peter Pan's flight. As anybody who goes to the Disney parks regularly knows, for some reason, Peter Pan has the longest queue. It's always so long, like at least like an hour and a half wait or more, sometimes like two, three hours. Not sure why, but it's usually insanely busy, at least from what I have seen. And I've been to Disney a handful of times and I check the app often. <laughs> but yeah, we have a fast pass for Peter Pan's flight in the morning. We also have a fast pass for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We have my mom on there, even though last time she was on it, she was kind of scared because it's like a mini roller coaster. I consider it a kitty coaster. Fiona survived. It was her first roller coaster experience ever. She was terrified. I should actually insert a clip for the picture of it here so you can see just what she looked like, she was terrified. Hi -ho! Hi -ho! Hi -ho! Hi -ho! Hi -ho! do have a lunch reservation that day we are going to go to Liberty Tree Tavern which is another restaurant that we've been to a bunch of times I don't think we went the last trip but the three trips before that we for sure went and then that afternoon we have a fast pass for Buzz Lightyear Space Rangers spin and then unfortunately the park is closing early that night for um, the Mickey's not so scary Halloween party so we're heading over to Hollywood Studios but we don't have any fast passes obviously because you can't book fast passes in two different parks in advance the same day um and then the next day is the saturday which we are going to be hanging out at our resort and then going home another thing i forgot to mention actually is the sunday night um hopefully after we do our slinky dog dash um fast pass we're gonna be heading out of the park and we are gonna be heading down to disney springs my mom wants to go to aaron mckenna's bakery we don't love disney springs to be honest it's nothing that i actually like prioritize to be honest i don't know especially since it turned from downtown disney to disney springs it's just too like bougie for me i want to be like in the disney bubble i want to be in the disney world when i'm in disney world so i kind of stray away from disney springs but we are gonna head down there try to go to aaron mckenna's bakery or bake shop i don't know what it's called i'm so sorry because they have a lot of vegan goodies there and my mom wants to get some stuff because to be honest when you go to restaurants sit down restaurants for dinners they don't actually carry a lot of vegan desserts um, it could be different this year, we'll see, but she does want to pick up a couple of things from the bakery. Yeah, that is what my week at Disney looks like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys are down there, if you see me, be sure to say hi. I don't have a lot of subscribers here, and to be honest, I doubt that I'll see anybody that I know, but just in case, make sure you say hi to me. I would love to give you a hug and say hi back. Look forward to the Disney vlogs that are coming soon and all the other Disney-related videos that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a pack with me video. I'm going to be doing my lookbook or like the what I wore in Disney World video and the what vegans and vegetarians can eat in Disney World or what I ate as a vegan slash vegetarian in Disney World. Yeah, so I have a lot of videos, especially Disney related, coming soon. If you don't like Disney, I'm very sorry. You're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Every single Monday on this channel is a magic Monday and Fridays if I do post, because like I said, I've been really bad with posting lately. 
just haven't been in the right mindset and haven't been um, motivated, I guess, to make videos. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, subscribe. For real. I'm also gonna link my Magic Monday playlist down below as always, and I will put it up in the cards. Again, I have so many things up in the cards right now. I hope you guys have a really great day. Love you so much, and I'll see you real soon.